And this hogging moment arises because of this parabolic structure of this arch. Because this H into, say, let's say this is Y, this creates my hogging moment. And as such, what will happen is that the bending moment at every section will be essentially reduced due to this horizon first coming in. Right. And essentially, we will have a lesser bending moment as compared to a beam. Now, the arch transfers its load like this. Uh, it, uh, I, I will try to uh, demonstrate how uh, in the ancient times, how one used to build an arch structure. Let's say, I have some kind of a thing here and here. And here is the opening, right. Now, now I want to build some kind of arch here. So what I will do? First, I will try to build a column here, right. When I build a column here, the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to build some scaffolding here. Let's say this is my scaffolding. These are my stairs, say, and the workers will go can go up like this. The workers can go up like this. So this suppose is my scaffolding. So this is my scaffolding. And let's say this is also my scaffolding. Right. Next what I do is that I have some let's say panels. Some panels like this. Right. Let's say there is another panel like this. Right. This suppose are my two panels. There is suppose a worker here, and what he does basically is that he builds some kind of an arrangement, let's say an arrangement by which let's say there's a pulley like this, and you have some kind of a thing like this, and this pulley can be rotated. Right. This pulley can be rotated and uh, once he rotates the pulley, so the, or I should say, once he rotates the shaft, this pulley will drive the panel upward, and the panel will be created like this. And then one can build up stones here, which are essentially called boyers and keystone. Keystone is this central central stone is called the keystone, and these are called the boyers. And this is how uh, arch is basically built. And the whole function of the arch is to take the weight of the building from above, right? So what it does is that it takes the weight in the, of the building and it transfers this to the apartment in the form of some kind of a compressive load. My drawing is not that great, so bear with it. Uh, so this is the whole function of a truss, uh, sorry, of an arch. So that's all for this lecture. Thanks a lot.